In this video, we will demonstrate the Hawkins Kennedy test for subacromial pain syndrome. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi, and welcome back to PhysioTutors. In the 1970s and 80s, Nier coined the term subacromial impingement syndrome. According to his theory, impingement occurs on the tendinous portion of the rotator cuff by the coracoacromial ligament and the anterior third of the acromion. We have an elaborate video on this topic that you can check out later by a click on the link in the top right corner. According to reviews by Hegedus et al. in 2012 and Gismervik et al. in 2017, the Hawkins Kennedy test has a sensitivity of 58 to 80 percent and a specificity of 56 to 67 percent. Furthermore, Cardogan et al. in 2011 evaluated the test reliability and found an inter-radar reliability of 0.38, which is why we give it a weak clinical value as a standalone test. To perform the Hawkins Kennedy test according to its original description, have the patient in sitting position with the affected arm in 90 degrees of shoulder flexion and the elbow flexed to 90 degrees. Then fixate the scapula with one hand and hold onto the patient's elbow with the other hand and add passive internal rotation to the glenohumeral joint. The test is considered positive in case of the reproduction of the patient's familiar shoulder pain. All right, thank you very much for watching. In order to increase the likelihood that your patient might have subs, Michener et al. propose a cluster of tests that you can watch next on the left. Do you want all of our tests in one slick product? Then check out our ebook or smartphone app. In our online course, we dive deeper into several shoulder pathologies, so check it out at the link in the video description. As always, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't yet. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.